lives here. A place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. It's breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. O oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. Ah. Well, well, our beloved twins return. Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. Ah, oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, 
but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. Luminary, shall we proceed? Tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <sighs> As for Mordecai, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. <clears throat> you must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it.
easy.
fabulous, darling. Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Huh? Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. 
It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? Huh? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Hmm. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Mm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch it.
Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Now, laddie, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm. Jasper, how did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. <laughs> Can't move. Tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Get through that aura. What? What is it? Uh, it's a power like of which we've never seen. Could he be? Surely not. Oh.
So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Not one step further, Jasper. Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world. <laughs> Confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? Second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of His Majesty, I pronounce you guilty. You have served me well, Hendrik. Your, your, your Majesty. What is the meaning of this? to serve you, as always. <laughs> Lord Mortigan. <laughs> so that was it. The king was... He was Mortigan all along. Hmm. Now, Luminary. You are in my power, and soon, your power will belong to me. Very fitting for the Lord.